All right, how's it going, guys? Welcome back. We got another ta episode of Tales of Zestiria, and this time we are here to explore this mysterious square thingy that I found out in the middle of the forest. So let's go ahead and jump on in. I'm not sure if this is... Oh, this is the Galahad runes. Okay, so the Galahad runes are actually where we're meant to go for our story, so... We can actually progress with our story as well as um, get through this dungeon. So let's go ahead and start up the conversation. Yes, the falls with the holy water are in the furthest location from the entrance, but we should be wary of whatever it was that attacked those soldiers. Be on the lookout. Okay, I am on the lookout, and I have immediately run into these things. Can I use my holy fire? I can! Awesome sauce. Okay. Is there any treasure? Because I like treasure. Ooh, there's a monolith. I just saw a monolith written in ancient tongue. Nice. Oh. Holy crap, what are you guys? We can't hit them by flailing our weapons. I know. I'm sorry. I didn't remember the controls. It's been forever since I've recorded an episode of this. Okay, we got that one. No. Get rid of it. What's left? Is this this one? I did some kind of weird flying high dive there. Yeah. This is a hellion. Excellent. Okay, so we got that taken care of. That looks like the way out. So let's go this way and see if we can't find ourselves some treasure. I don't think we've checked that monolith out yet. Nope. We got to take care of these guys first, though. Super fire mode. Yeah. It's completely unnecessary to transform into that, but it seems to be unlimited from what I can tell, and it's really cool, so I can't help myself. Okay, looks like we can go down that way. That way is blocked. Oh, yes, a treasure. Oh, not close enough. There we go. Undoubtedly, something is going to jump out on me, probably, for taking that. Oh, hey, actually, no. Cool, thank you. Okay, so we did get a little bit more treasure. Treasure is the name of the game. Let's go ahead and continue on back. I wish you could run in this game. That would be super useful. Down and around. Hey, there's a bat thingy. Let's just run away from it. I don't think, it'll probably just catch up to me and attack me, but oh well. Nice, got another life bottle. Yep. I am ready. Death to you all! No idea what that does. Oh well. I was trying to use a spell, which is why I was just standing around. But I, I don't know, it doesn't really seem to want to do a spell, so. Okay. So there's that collapsed bit. And this is the way that we need to go. Ooh, what's that thing? It's like a bow. It's a really kick-ass looking bow. It looks like it's just ceremonial. Nah, totally looks real. This bow is a divine artifact. Uh -huh. A what? Oh, right, hold on. So if this bow is a divine artifact, what does that mean? A divine artifact determines the form the Armatus will take. Essentially, it serves as a model for the Armatus. A model for the Armatus? Oh, yeah, like Lila's Sacred Blade. The Sacred Blade of Lady Lake is also a divine artifact. Huh, and that's why your Armatus is a sword. Hey, does this mean that I can use your Sacred Blade to armatize with other Seraphim as well? Well, that depends on the circumstances. First, as I mentioned earlier, just as I am the Prime Lord of you, the Shepherd, they would have to become my Sublord in turn. What exactly is a Sublord? Put simply, it is the title for one who assists Saray while working under the influence of my power. Ugh. Consider the elemental property of the Divine Artifact. Each Seraph has their own unique element that falls under their control. Mine, for instance, is fire. So if the Divine Artifacts all have their own elements, does that mean a Seraph can't armatize with it if their element is different? Indeed it does. It would appear this bow's element is water. Makes sense, we're in a water palace. Let's go! Huh? Saray does not wish to make Miklio his sublord. 
Why not? It's no different than when I was made a squire. But you called on the Shepherd's power in order to achieve your dream. Isn't that right? Miklio is different. Well then, more drama. There he is. I have a feeling Miklio is all evil and shit. Miklio, get your hands off that goddamn bow. It's mine. I'm coming back for it. What's that? Can't I have it? Apparently not. Saray, there's something written on the arrow pedestal. It looks like ancient tongue. Oh, show me! Um... Don't walk off with relics and other junk you find in the ruins, okay? And no breaking stuff. On the other hand, treasure chests are fair game. So go nuts. Very lighthearted, these ancients. I'm not so sure. The distinction between academic research and crass looting can be very fine indeed. Perhaps their buried message is contemplate always the true intent of your actions? Now you're taking it too far in the other direction. Nothing wrong with interpreting it that way. <laughs> but I'm thinking this might just be a joke the ancients left for us. Indeed. Ruins are made by people just like us, so it only makes sense for them to reflect human nature. Quite profound. That's what we like about you, Alicia. You're, uh... Sincerity. Yeah, we can call it sincerity. Now give me the fucking bow. <laughs> I want the bow. Because I know that fucking Miklio is going to come back and steal that shit. There's a thingy. Is that a monolith? Yep. Awesome song. Oh, hello, Snakey. I'm busy searching for shit, though. Come back later. Okay. I made a mistake in which direction I went. That's that's looks like it's a deeper part of the tunnel, and I'm well. I I do need to go down there. I'm also trying to steal as much stuff as I possibly can. Aha! Found a thing, rosemary. And then we can search what's down this side too. Please be a treasure chest. Oh, there's another thing. Well, since we're on this side, we'll probably just go down this one. Uh, let's go down this one first. I love finding hidden loot! Damn it. They tricked me! What is that? Go away, slug. I don't want you. Nobody loves you. Fool! Okay. Next section of the dungeon. Aw, yeah. Okay. What's down here? Please be loot! Yay! Loot! I love loot. Aha! Aw. Fuck my life. Oh, that dude's determined. He followed me all the way down here. Deep fried. There's no treasure. I know, I'm just kind of avoiding everything that's trying to fight with me. Nice. Oh. Come hither. I will destroy you. Alright, awesome sauce. Good deal. Okay, let's get out of here. So, yeah, this path was strictly meant for treasure, it seems. Um, the other side of the ruins looks like it's for the actual story. So we got our treasure. Now let's go do the story. This is a long walk. Oh my god, that stupid slug thing keeps following me. I don't- I kind of want to fight it just to kill it so it can stop following me. Okay, I think- yeah, it's this way for the other ruins. Ooh, snake. Snakey. Little snakey snake. Mm, such a long walk. I don't like walking. So lazy. Okay, let's get- Let's get down the ruins. Excellent. Okay. So. Um, uh, what does this do? Open sesame! Aha, it worked. What's in here? There's a, a thing, a bat thing. Ah, chest, yes. 
Please be good. Please be good. Please be good. Aw. Just got apple gel. Oh, well. Go away, bat thingy. Nobody... What the fuck? Okay, bat thingy disappeared. That's nice, I guess. Okay. I'm, like, obsessed with treasure. This is why I never get anywhere in Fallout or Skyrim. Because all I do is collect treasure constantly. Man, I like having Alicia with me because she always makes me little goodies and snack things. Okay, we're gonna save there, but first... I'm gonna go down here and look for treasure. Yes! Got some saffron! Saffron. Saffron. Saffroni. Okay, let's go ahead and save the game. I am looking into procuring a green screen for the back guys that way when I record my videos and do live streams and stuff like that we'll have other green screen to work with as well yes just thought I'd let what? you guys know what do we got w where they be invisible oh, no. oh they're not oh see. god don't it's poisonous stop <sighs> Lila get back okay that was Mioma Defensive maneuvers! Come at me, bro! Oh, hey. to to fire. I don't care if they're resistant to fire, I will destroy all of you! Ow. Okay, that didn't work out. You fools! You have no idea who you're dealing with. Okay, I, I wish I could do something other than just one fire attack. Like... Fire. Away. Fire. There we go. Fire. Stop that. Yeah. Blood moon. Burn away. No like, the way you attack in this game is you you hit O and then you move. Your attacks aren't working on them. They're resistant to fire. My power's no use on them. Um, you have to use O in, like, a direction with the left trigger. So I'm, like, trying to, um... Trying to figure out how to do a basic sword Get attack lost. instead of just normal fire things. Cause see that that spinny sword bit does really good, but I I don't know how to do it. No, I don't like rain of fire. Can't see. Get lost. There we go. Okay, well that took way too long. There's still so many of them. Dang. Miklio. Miklio. Damn it! You stole my staff. Or not my staff, my. Her. Lila, let me become your sub lord. Are you sure about this? Wait, stole my freaking bow. You're right. I am stubborn as a rock. Huh? I admit it. I'm hell bent on becoming a sub lord. But there's something important that you don't understand. I do understand. I just didn't want you to get involved. <laughs> get over yourself. <sighs> Do you really think this is your dream alone? Saray, do as Miklio says. You can hear him too? This is our dream. Definitely interesting. Okay, so it looks like Miklio is not turning into now, an Lila. evil dude. Very well. Oh, ye born of the sacred currents of peace. Miklio, Lila! Here let our path be forged, that my unquavering incandescence may be as thy purification. Shouldst thou accept this burden, recite, allow your, etc. Etc. Now for the Armatis. Miklio, give Saray your true name! He already knows. You bet I do. Oh my! Here we go, Miklio! Let's end this. I hope I can win this. Let's destroy you all. And I have a kick-ass bow. Alright. Damn, I look sexy. May your soul burst! Death to you all! This Aha. is our Armatus. I'll do the aiming. Good spray. god. Right. Ah, ha, 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 ha. I'm counting on you. God, this thing is freaking awesome. Be honest, I'm not super, um, 
not super popular with the um oh god that's cool um, i'm not super um popular with the whole um ponytail seem to be like there we go i don't know i was like going through them god that was really cool oh were you able to remove it now that you mention it it just came off i wonder why does it does it really matter besides this means that I can now use the Armatus at will, right? Lost those training wheels. Look at you. Shut up. Makes sense. So, that's why you couldn't take it off before. Nicleo, I wanted to say... Don't thank me. After all, I merely did this for my own dream. I know that. He wants to become the Dark Lord! Lord Voldemort! Envious. <laughs> Agreed. I've been watching too much Harry Potter. Alicia, don't tell me. Yes. Not only can I hear your voice, I can see you now. No way. You can see Seraphim now? I think it just goes to show how strong you've already gotten. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we do have a fighting chance against this Lord of Calamity. So Maybe. Lila, Mikleo. Please accept my sincerest gratitude for saving me. It was nothing, I assure you. But you're welcome. I thought we weren't supposed to be thanking you. Guess there's no need to worry. All right, the waterfall is just up ahead. Oh yeah, I forgot about the waterfall. All right. When Shepard's ready... Power purification for Battle Seraphim 2 can access this power. Something about a screenshot, I don't know. They have a human channel through it. When Sora is sole human in the party, only one Seraphim may join him. And also join. Okay, cool. Awesome sauce. Oh, we got 1,296 gold. Awesome sauce. Okay, onward to the waterfall. So we need to get... Okay, that looks like the way there, so I'm gonna go the opposite direction so I can find treasure. Yes, totally worth it. I can sense the ancient tongue. We're near one. Nice. So we got another AP point. Oh, and a treasure chest. Yes. Okay. Excellent. I really wish I could run. Like that's like the one thing I want to do more than anything in this game is I want to be able to run. There's a bat thing. Everyone loves bat thingies. They're little baddies. Okay. Anything that way? I'm gonna find out. Yes. Chest. What's in there? Devil wings. Devil wings. To make you feel like you're doing something naughty. Best not wear them too long. <laughs> Oop. Okay, my bad. I'm ready. Ready? Get rid of all these fools. Okay. Well, nice. That was actually pretty. Awesome sauce. This is getting easier and easier because now we have four people to fight. So you have two seraphim and then two humans. And we're just, like, pwning things up. Okay, I found the thing. Is there any treasure I can steal from the room? Nope. What evil deed has been done to the water? Hmm, still looks plenty pure to me. Hey, Miklio, do you think you can freeze this water? Huh? Yeah, don't see why not. Then freeze it and let us bring it back to the sanctuary. Ice is highly resistant to being corrupted by malevolence. Are you going to take well. all of I'll it? Give it a try. Oh, just taking a single Thank chunk. Thank you very much. That should suffice. Now, before this melts, we'd better take care of our other problem. What? What's happening? Oh, flashback. Ooh, this is intriguing.
Oh, is that the book? Lila, what was that? The Earth in Historia. It finally reacted to something. Nice. So that was something real from the past. Did you see that, Miklio? He was writing the Celestial Record. Yeah, that thing. Yeah, that must have been the author. There are more Earth in Historia where this came from. If we obtain them, surely we can obtain more information about the past. Oh man, this is too sweet! This is only the beginning. Don't get so worked up, or you'll just wear yourself out. Right. Nah. Whoa, hey, Ray? Ray? He's burning up. This is the result of the pact we made with Miklio. He'll get better after some rest at the inn. Yeah, except I'm all the way in a freaking back. dungeon. If we want to cool him down, I guess I better make some more ice. Yeah, let's holy water that can only be found right there and turn it into an ice pack. Seems like a very justified use. How is a magical being supposed down. to carry me back? Because he's not visible by other recover. people. It took three when he forged the pact with me. He's definitely got natural ability as a shepherd. Miklio. Oh, thanks for helping with the letters, by the way. I caught up with everyone I needed to. It's okay. I rather enjoy writing letters. <sighs> Are you awake? I... I must have fainted again. Sorry. You gave me quite a backache. <laughs> you looked like you were floating. I told the innkeeper you were just doing some sort of magic trick. <laughs> well, I never was well, that explains that. Anyways. Don't overexert yourself. You still need to rest. I'll be fine. We gotta find the Lord of the Land and someone to pray at the sanctuary before the ice melts. Uh, but... The Shepherd has spoken. Is it not the duty of the Prime Lord, Sublord, and Squire to follow him? I suppose. I don't know. Me that question, I have no idea. Alright, awesome sass. So, we did great this episode, guys. We found the chunk of ice that we needed. We found all the stuff, pretty much, that we needed. Um, got some really kick-ass treasure from the inn. We got a uh, sick-ass bow. We got Miklio, and I'm pretty sure he's not evil. Not exactly saying he's not evil, just... Yeah, he could be evil, but for now, I think it's probably safe to say he's on our side. Um, but anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a great big thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. Leave a comment below. You can follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook. Both of those links will be down in the description below. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. It's somewhere one of these sides. I have no idea. I'm going to have to sort that out one of these days. Um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, I will see you guys in the next